Hey guys, what's going on? Happy Wednesday morning, coming at you with my daily 9 a.m. videos. Before I get into this, make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. If you haven't watched my videos before, I'm a long-term investor. I really believe that's the best way to grow wealth. I don't do any kind of other trading, so I'm very, I look at myself as like very good at what I do, and uh, I stay, you know, by my methods that work. So. It's not like getting rich overnight, but for you know how I look at it, if you are a day trader, an option trader, or a margin trader, for every one person that has success, I feel like a thousand people fail, then they get a bitter taste in their mouth, they lose their money, and then they never play the market again. I think it's very important to start investing at a younger age because you can compound wealth and then you're better off later on in life. So that's my little spiel on what I do. So today I want to talk about Tattoo Chef. Ticker is TTCF on this stock. It's my second biggest position. I've been actively buying this. If I buy a stock or sell a stock, I make a video letting you guys know what I did, what percentage of my position I bought, just so you can get a gauge on how heavy I went. If you've also watched my videos, I've been, I talk about this stock probably once a week just because I'm really focusing on building the position out, keeping up on news, and as better things come out with the company, I will gladly buy more if it makes sense. Also, I started talking about news recently, just daily things that went on from yesterday and any big news. Obviously, CP, the CPI data came out yesterday of inflation. It's obviously very important from June. So I'll let you guys know my thoughts on that too and just put some numbers down just so you guys can uh, just hear about it. So obviously CPI data, so that's the, over the side. So let's talk about Tattoo Chef first. So they just announced they launched a deal with Kroger stores that it should go live. They're going in all locations sometime in September. So that's really big. There were rumors that they were gonna get in it, but I believe they were talking about Q1 of 2022, somewhere in that ballpark. So they're moving a lot quicker than what they inspect, expected. I feel like this stock, if you look at it in the past year, let's just say, you know, they started Costco, Target, basically like wholesale uh, com you know, companies and the sell through is amazing. They can't can't keep anything on the shelves. They acquired New Mexican Food Company to do tortilla and like have another facility to, uh, you know, branch out in the tortilla space. So like I feel like this company's moving at 100 miles an hour, but they also you know nothing is too big for them. Like they're 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 handling it. They're scaling out. They have nothing but positive feedback. They're getting in the right stores. So you got to remember like Target, Costco, and Kroger and all that. Like. The, these brands, they're not gonna get picked up in these stores unless they think they're the real deal. Like these are big, big, big box stores and they're not just gonna pick up any random brand to sell. So obviously the connection's there, the feedback's there, the hopefully the supply's there. They need to ramp up production, I think, to meet demands of all these massive stores. Like these are big, big, big multi-billion dollar revenue companies, so. Super exciting, just gives Tattoo Chef more opportunity, more uh, consumers and all that, so awesome. Also, uh, my local Costco has one SKU, the, the, uh, the Ahi Bowl. And then my Target has, I think, four to six SKUs. So they're starting out off the bat with 12 SKUs, Kroger. So they're scaling out way more than everyone else. I think once Target, Costco, Sam's Club, and all those guys see how Kroger, how many SKUs they're bringing up, I guarantee you other stores are gonna be like, well, shoot, if they have 12 SKUs, I need to step up my SKUs to keep up with, you know, the the demand that Kroger's gonna have. So this is good. You know, they're starting out really big. They have a lot of faith in if they're starting out with 12 SKUs. Kroger also has eight, uh, 1,800 stores nationwide. So that's a lot of stores. Kroger's one of the biggest food, food stores uh, in the nation. So that's awesome. Today, uh, Tattoo, based on that news, had a 3.3% gain today, so it's sitting a little over $20. Uh, with this news, I mean, if you're not in this stock, really buying it sub 25 is a good deal. Uh, my cost base is high 18s or 17, so I'm fully built out too. If you've watched my previous videos, I was actively buying in April and May when the market really took that correction down out of tech. And, uh, small caps and stuff like that. So I was really averaging cost down. I was buying at 15, 16, $17, like religiously for a couple weeks. So am I interested in buying right now? 
based on this news, I mean, I knew this was coming. I just didn't think it was gonna come this quick, but I'm, you know, it's my second biggest position in my portfolio and I really don't wanna go too top heavy on one stock. I'm kind of really content with where I'm at right now. If the stock does, for me personally, if the stock goes under 18 or 1850-ish, I probably will average uh, cost, I think it'd be down at that point. But I, you know, it'd have to hit in the 18s for me to buy. But if you're not in this stock, it's, it's not a bad time to at least buy a position. Once September comes, earnings comes out, and I mean, they're, they're just gonna roll. So, great company, great evaluation right now, constant good news for the company. So, you know, it's, it's awesome. Also, I did a little research on Kroger. They did $100 billion in revenue in 2022. So, like, people go to the store, and, and, and that's like serious money being spent there. So, that just shows you, like, once this, brands in there. I mean, they're, they're going to capture some of that market share for sure. So super exciting. Let me see how far I'm in this video. All right. Six minutes. Perfect. Okay. So news from yesterday, CPI data released. So I actually was talking last week. I thought it was going to come in lighter than what they thought. May and April were, I think it was like 0 0.8 then 0 0.6 last month. I thought it was going to come in at like 0 basically what the Fed was forecasting. I thought they were gonna come in at 0.5%, so it was going down month to month. However, it went up to 0.9, so that's, I mean, if you look at the numbers, 0.5 to 0.9, that's almost, I mean, you're way off. I mean, that's, inflation is showing that it's like here, basically. So, it's weird, because a 10-year treasury bond didn't really react to it, and usually tech and all that stuff, and growth, people run out of those stocks when there's inflation, they move more to like banks and stuff like that. However, it didn't really do that today in the market, it was very interesting. But uh, you know, so that was basically the numbers that came out. Obviously this means there's more inflation than what they thought. Year over year, uh, they are forecasting 5%, it came in at 5.4. I mean, that's not terrible, but that's still higher than what they forecasted. So I think the Fed's realizing maybe inflation, there's more inflation than what they thought because obviously their forecasting's really off here month over month and then a little off year over year. So I wouldn't get too hung up on this and the market really did today. It went red, then green, then red. I think the market finished red overall as far as the big three like NASDAQ, S&P 500 and uh, Dow. But uh, I really think the inflection point is gonna be somewhere probably in, in October. That's really where you're gonna see how bad inflation is. And I think a lot of people are waiting for the fall to really see how those numbers come out. So don't, get, I mean, that's why I think the market did what it did today. It really kind of did nothing. It went down, up, down, like a little bit. So that's what I really think people are waiting for. And it's, you know, I still think it is transitory based on like these numbers. It's a lot of it is, you know, like used car sales, how cars are going up like 10%, like 10% month over month, they went up 10%. So obviously that's because there's chip shortages, the you know, the new cars aren't getting released on time, so it's driving up the car, it's driving up the value of the used cars. So like if you looked at some of the like the actual segments of it was like some food and stuff like that, like meats. So like if you looked at the big inflation segments, like this is transitory just because in time when things get more back to normal, you know, cars, new cars are gonna be available, used cars values will go down. So that's what I think a lot of people are thinking. That was just an example of one that was like a big one. I think it was like a 10% gain. But um, I think the market sees that and they're like, well, this is transitory because this won't be forever. Used cars will not always be 10%. Like that's just crazy. It's just based on the circumstances right now. So that's what I think the market's thinking. I, I do think it's gonna there is gonna be deflation in 2022. I really, you know, after running the numbers and seeing both sides, I think there's gonna be deflation, which is good. So. Um, you know, I mean, that's, that's just my thoughts, but that's what came out today. Numbers were a little hot in summary, but that's okay. So Tattoo Chef, definitely for sure buy now if you're not in it. And uh, the CPI data, there it is. Uh, the banks did really well today too in earnings. Like I think it was JP Morgan and what was it? Um, another bank report today, but they destroyed uh, everything. So uh, that's, you know, crazy, so. That's all I got till tomorrow. If you guys like this video, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment below, and that's all I got. Peace.